Hi YouTube, welcome back to my channel and welcome to another mukbang. Today I have tropical fruits from Vietnam. So I have two types of dragon fruit, the one with the pink flesh and the one with the white flesh. I have persimmon, but the really uh, ripe and soft persimmon, which is my favorite. I have soursop here, I have passion fruit, I have pink guava. I have oranges, and I know oranges, you guys have it over there too, but over here, look at it. It's green over here, it's so cool. And then I have long in. And this this little fruit right here is called Dai Meng. I googled it and there was no translation, so I was really confused. But just know that the Vietnamese word for it is Jai Meng, okay? I have a few of my favorite fruits missing here, like the star fruit, sapote, uh, mango. I don't, uh, sa uh no, it was, uh, mango. What is mango? Mango is, mango is, uh, mangosteen. I have, um, and we're missing jackfruit and, uh, what is it? Jum Jum. Um, what is Jum Jum? I'll, I'll, I'll insert the pictures here, but the reason why they're missing is because they're not in season right now. They're in season during like the summertime, and right now all of this is in season. So I'm just gonna try the fruits that are in season, and be, just because it's um, it's when it's the best. But before I get into this video, I do want to do a quick mention of the coldest water they have a giveaway every single week that you can enter with the link in my description you can also use the code sway for free shipping the link will also be in my description so now let's dig in i'm gonna tie my hair up and dig in oh and i have a side of um what's it called uh My life. My fucking life, bro. Alright. Be right back. <sighs> Let's try this again. Luckily, some of it fell on the fruit, so it doesn't really matter. But I have some uh, chili salt here. So it's kind of like the Vietnamese version of Bahin. This is Mui Uk. That's what it's called. I don't know where to put this. I'm going to put it on... I want you guys to see it too. Right here, can you see that? Okay, we're all happy here. I don't know where to start. I think I want to dig into the dragon fruit because it looks beautiful. Look. Wow. It's so vibrant. Ah. So this is also known as pataya. Mmm. Oh my gosh. I've never had dragon fruit. It's so sweet. But sometimes when it's not like peak season, dragon fruit tastes like water. It literally tastes like nothing. Mm -mm. Wow, that was a good start to the video. Wow. And it, it even smells so, so sweet. I'm gonna go ahead and eat this fruit right here, the um, Jai Meng. Go ahead and put this out. So it's kind of like a texture of an apple, but a more watery apple. Um, and there's like, it's kind of spongy in the middle right here. It gets really soft in the middle right here. And you don't eat this part right here. 
So growing up, my grandpa had this tree in his backyard and it was very, very, very fruitful. Hmm? Yeah, so it's like a apple, like a less apple crunch, more watery crunch, and it gets spongier in the middle, so it gets softer in the middle. Hmm. Since it is watery, it feels really refreshing when you bite into it. Mm. And there's a slight, slight sweetness to it. it makes it so addicting to eat. And then this is my favorite. This is red persimmon. So persimmon over in the states, they're they're orange and they're hard. It very it's very rare for me to find ripe and red persimmon that's super soft. You know because persimmon when it's super soft and ready, it's so freaking sweet. It's um, similar to this fruit called sapote, and um, they have sapote over here too. It's called samboche, samboche. But I like I, I I like that fruit in like drinks. I like it in smoothies. I don't really like to eat it because um, that fruit is very very sweet. So only like one or two bites of it is good, and then the rest is just kind of. Um, an overwhelming sweetness, you know? But this one, it, it, I don't know, it just has a better sweet um, level to it that you can handle eating the whole fruit by itself, you know? Mmm. Mmm. <laughs> and there's like, there's textures in here. Mm -hmm. There's like body in there. You can bite into it. There's bites to it. Very, very yummy. And then this right here is called Dainyang. Dainyang is longin. 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 So you bite into it. And then you peel the outer uh shell i know this is very tedious to eat but it's very it, it's worth it see this is how it looks like it looks like um a lychee but it's um it's much more sweeter. There's a distinct smell to it that you know when you bite into it that that's a, a long end, you know? And you spit out the seeds, of course. So, you guys. My Vietnam trip has been pretty good for the most part. But sometimes uh, my anxiety goes through the roof because I just learned that uh, people's, I, I'm very sensitive to people's energy. Like I'm very, like I, it, when somebody is arguing, when somebody is, in a bad mood, it affects me a lot. Even though I don't want it to, it still does. You know, and I just, I don't know how to cope with that. 
So a lot of times being here with my family, they they fight with each other a lot and whatever. They they're very nice to me, but they fight with each other a lot and I just I don't know being in the environment, it puts me in a really bad headspace. So I've just been trying to deal with that. Um kind of just drown that sound out and just kind of enjoy my time here before I leave. But yeah, I just want to I don't know, update you guys on how I'm feeling over here, but the food has been fantastic. Tried this uh the white meat dragon fruit. Mmm. Interesting. This one is tart. Mhm. Mm mm. So it's tart, but with a little bit of sweetness in the middle. Mm. I like it. I like all of it. Mm. It's just so fruits are so much more flavorful over here, if you know what I mean. Like bananas, you really taste the banana. Like it's banana e as fuck. Like it's very sweet in your mouth and you can just smell it through your whole like nostril and your mouth and everything while you're eating fruit here. Eating fruit here is an experience and I think that's why people love eating fruit so much here. Mm. Should I try this dry, um, this passion fruit? I've been obsessed with passion fruit ever since I got here. So, actually, let me sh let me kind of teach you guys a little Vietnamese. So, dragon fruit is tan lam. Um, uh, persimmon is dai hum. Um, what else have we ate so far? Long en is uh, nhãng, trái nhãng. Uh, this one I already said that is trái mận. Um, yeah. Okay, so passion fruit is chanh dây. Ooh, yes. Give me all that shit. Shout it. Ooh. Spoonful of passion fruit. See if I can um, control my sour face. Mmm. Mmm. Ooh. Oh. Oh. When I'm sick or when I'm starting to feel sick in my throat, like when I start to feel like a scratch in my throat, I would just eat a, like one pure just passion fruit and I swear to you, it just, that feeling just goes away. It's fantastic. I love drinking passion fruit too. It's been amazing. Mm. And it's so easy to make passion fruit drinks. Literally, open the passion fruit, add sugar, add ice, add water, done. You're done. That's it. It's amazing. Um, let me go ahead and eat some oranges. The oranges over here have lots and lots of seed because it hasn't been genetically modified yet. Hence, 
the green skin. Uh, oranges is called a uh, daikam. Mm. That would make amazing orange juice. Just heard a sound. <laughs> wow, that's good. That's really good. I want to go ahead and dig into the soursop. There you go. So soursop, I have no idea how to even describe this. Um, is it called manko? I'm not sure. But uh, <laughs> it's kind of sour. <laughs> And it has a very um, creamy and uh, rich texture when you bite into it. And when you open it, there's like little ridges. Like that. Yeah. Mmm. Mmm. Mmm, okay. I was wrong. This is called uh, this is called sweet apple because it's actually sweet. This is a different type of um, like soursop. Soursop is a little bit bigger than this, and uh, it's sour when you bite into it. And this one is sweet. There's seeds in there too. They're very similar when you cut it open, but the flavors are definitely definitely different. but it's still very similar in texture and in appearance. The smaller ones are just a little bit sweeter. Lots of seeds and fruits over here, huh? But it's so worth it because you really just reap the benefit of the flavors that they offer. Oh, I'm starting to feel um, the fibers in these fruits working already. Wow, it's going down there. Sheesh! Gonna go ahead and peel myself another persimmon. So, um, I don't know if I told you guys this already, but I'm actually canceling my flight to Singapore because something happened. And I'm just gonna go straight from here, from Vietnam, over to America. Mm. So good. Mm. Okay, so this is a pink guava. It's guava is called Jai Oi. I'm gonna just go ahead and dip a little bit of this. Mmm. And for those that don't know what guavas are, um, is it or how it tastes like, there's a very distinct uh, smell to guavas. Um, at first, I feel like you won't get used to it, but it'll grow on you, you know? And then the, the texture is kind of like biting into an apple. Just be careful because there are a lot of seeds in guavas. Mmm. So guavas are usually very mild in flavor, but this one, it's actually really sweet. 
Oh yeah, guys. So I also found out that hearing people argue is a really, really big trigger for me because it brings me back to when my parents used to argue all the time before their divorce. And that feeling of just hearing them argue just like turns my stomach into knots. It literally like physically makes me feel sick you know so that's why it triggers me to hear people argue and now i know now I'll just put on my airpods and my own business so i don't get triggered mm. amazing It's so sweet, you guys. So sweet. Just gonna go ahead and leave that on there. I wish when I was little, man, my mom loved me. She would peel all of this long in and put it in a bowl, and I would just have to take out the seed, we'll eat, and then spit out the seeds. That's it. I didn't know how lucky I was cuz damn this, like peeling these shits are a lot of work <laughs> kind of not really but still it's very tedious work mmm oh man so sweet so so sweet it's orange Mm. Ooh. So it's a burst of zest. One more persimmon. Yummy. Mm. Mm. The sweetness just like trickles down your tongue to your throat and I don't know man, it makes me so happy. The fruit here is wonderful, it's delicious. All of the fiber right now, <laughs> I'm gonna be blowing up the restroom later. But uh, yeah, I think I'm, I'm gonna end it here. Thank you guys for watching, I really really enjoyed this. You guys can find more of me on Instagram and Twitter. Jesus Christ. I hope you, uh, you guys can find more of me on Instagram. You guys can find more of me on Instagram and Twitter at Twaitabay. And I'll see you guys next time. Bye!